Hey guys, it's um, Robert. I'm from Australian Camping and Four Wheel Drives, and we've got some other people here today as well. Hey Grant, good day. Yep. Morning guys. Steve from Mud Ducks Four Wheel Drive Touring. Yep. Over on the end. Yeah. Shad from Shad Donny. Yeah. <laughs> Shad's got the creative name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we all run YouTube channels, hey. So uh, we'll try and pop up names up on the on the screen here for you guys, so you can go and have a look at the other uh, people's YouTube channels and have a look down the comments as well. Um, you should see some details down there for links to the other guys' channels there also, hey. They're probably so. in the end screens as well, more yeah. likely, so. So have you guys found the weekend? Awesome. Fantastic. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it. it's been, um, been really good. The, the weather's been awesome. We had a great drive yesterday. And we did, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, Shay came out with us on the four-wheel drive tracks, and uh, you're going to see some video of that. It's some really <laughs> cool action, wasn't it, mate? Yeah, it was really good. Nice, yeah. and, uh, nice and muddy yesterday. Yeah. So. A couple of bog holes. Yeah, it was a whole heap of fun. Yeah, great. and Grant was out there as well, and so was Steve as well. So we all had fun, didn't we? Yeah, oh, it's great. Yeah. Was top day. Yeah. If you've never been to a drifter camping weekend and you get the opportunity, go. There's yeah. pretty well one in every. Well, there's two in Queensland now. One in New South Wales. One in Victoria. So it's getting bigger. Yeah. So we're running uh, the one up in Brisbane. Uh, it's coming up shortly as well. So. We'll stick the details up on the screen here as well for you so you can go and have a look at that and um, there'll be a link there so you can go and book and, and uh, we're having it out of Bluff Creek so it'd be great if you can come along to that. The good, good thing about these events is like anybody can come along, you don't have to have drifter gear, you just come along with, with whatever you've got and you can see how everybody camps and you can walk into anybody's campsite pretty much can't you and you can go and have a look and see what they've got set up and it's really good for all that stuff hey. Oh yeah there's been some um, beaut setups here and it's great to walk around and the thing see I, all the difference. The thing I found too with a lot of there's there's no um, none of that pretentious minds better than yours. Like anyone, the, the the common share of passion here is just people getting outdoors and camping. And like as you say, you can you can wander over. Someone's got a full blown setup. Someone up the back with just a, a tent. There's a bloke up here with a motorbike and a swag under a tarp. Yeah, but everyone's sharing that same passion of camping. And yeah, there's none of that. You know. No, not all. better than yours. It's, it's just a great atmosphere. It's brilliant. And we had music last night as well. Yes, yeah, it was great. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, and the Good. fires yeah, all going awesome. over yeah. there. Yeah. Um, this year they put some stuff out to sell as well, so you can have a look at some of the range of drifter gear. We noticed in, in previous years that you haven't had the stuff out there, and uh, it was great to have the, the gear out there for people to have a look at as well. You know, if they wanted to get something, so that was it was really handy for them yeah. also. Hey, their little drifter shop. Yeah, yeah. Exactly right. Yeah, it was great. So, yeah. and it's not an actual for sale event. No, you know, it's not. So they brought that out by request by the public who come here. Yeah. Uh, they've never brought the gear out before. Yeah. So this is the first time for that. But the people who come want to want to have a look at some gear. They might not get to the HQ on the way through, so they come out and check it out here, and, and they can grab some if they want. Yeah, we but, should be doing that in Brisbane too, yeah. hey? So it'll be great for people. But Luke makes no effort to push any sales on you. This is just the fun of camping. And, uh, like the boys have said, everything is a here, you know, we've got everything from full-blown hardcore caravans to the guys on bikes and swags and everything Very in between. Yeah. Yeah. Really what's, good. what's good too, I found with, um, like they've got the showers over the back here, you know, there's portaloo scattered around as well, so they... Around the grounds. Yeah, and, and a lot of, uh, when I mentioned it to a few people last year after we came up, they, they thought that it was like a, yeah, like a, you know, four-wheel drive show as such where you, you sort of pay to get in and you're bombarded, but it's not, it's just... It's just everyone coming to one spot to camp here at Camp Cobark, and just um, yeah, if you, if you don't have all the gear, as I say, there's showers at the back, there's port loos It's it's just so well done. It's really well set up. And there's heaps of room too. Like everyone, so much room to spread Space, out. Isn't it? No, yeah. like you're not yeah, camped on top of um, on top, on top of each other like a lot of events. It's there's just endless amounts of room. You've got your own little spot. Not tripping over yeah. people's tent yeah. and guy ropes and stuff, yeah. but. 
Yeah, it's yeah. Very, There's very enough good. trouble tripping over your own guy ropes when you <laughs> may have had one or two too many. <laughs> it's been done. Exactly right. I asked Luke about that yesterday, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> uh, yeah, the event's really good, guys. If you get a chance, you should come here. But, um, of course, this is not all about the event. Yeah. We've got four separate people for four separate YouTube channels. Yeah. So um, we'll be interested to see what's going on. So I'll... Uh, I might start with Shad, ask him how he got into it, what he does. So yeah. um, tell us all about your channel, Shad, and what what, what you do, how yeah. it's done. So um, my channel uh, lately has been just a lot of four driving trips. Um, so I did start with um, YouTube about 11 years ago, and then I haven't, I've put up about three videos. I haven't touched it until about last year where I started again. So it's, so it's real, disregarding the, uh, a couple of videos years ago I'm still relatively new at it so um, yeah it's it's um, just basic camping trips and some four driving and the old bushwalk so it's pretty much anything outdoors and um, so make sure yeah. you subscribe to his channel guys yeah yeah, yeah. Sure. tell me what you think give me some ideas yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah that's about it cool yeah well you might as well go next Rob yeah. you're next to wine well <laughs> you're the biggest channel here oh well Look, I started off um, about a year and a half ago, met Buck up in Brisbane and we went out to the show and um, then we went out to Drifter headquarters at Brisbane as well and uh, Brendale and um, it sort of went from there, he encouraged me to make some YouTube videos so I've been doing, doing my best, we're all, we're all learning this, you know, and we're, we're not professionals really, we're just doing this because it's a hobby and things that we enjoy, you know, so yeah, yeah. so I, I, on my channel I try to do reviews of different products and that type of stuff and this camping stuff that you know you really like to do as well, so it's really good as well. Hey, so just just all the stuff, and I got we got a new caravan recently, so I put that up there as well. And just, you just put stuff that you enjoy, camping, caravanning, you know, and uh, four wheel driving videos, really good to do as well. Hey, so yeah, what about you, mate? Yeah, same same sort of thing. Just we do a lot of day trips, and uh, actually, st I sort of started the channel after the drift of an event last year. I thought I was having a yak to buck, and he said, yeah, if you enjoy. All right. Your four-wheel driving and your camping. He said, "Yeah, throw a few videos on and got you know a couple of hundred subscribers and Facebook page." And I, it's sort of a bit overwhelming and, and humbling that that many people are interested in what I had to say and show. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you set up a Patreon page as well, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. Patreon.com forward slash four wheeling in New South Wales. So yeah. anyone that wants to help with um, content creation, I'm slowly saving. I want to get a drone so I can bring better footage for you guys, yeah. aerial stuff, so it all costs money, but you know, Rob, we're getting there. Yeah. Rob, Rob yeah. actually subscribed, so. Yeah, subscribe to his that. channel, and, and um, I've got a Patreon page there too, I've got to tell you about it. The reason I have a Patreon account is because I'm actually trying to uh, get money in for, to pay for uh, some extra tarps uh, for the, the deal that uh, Luke's put together. So we'll have some details up on the screen there for you guys, well have a look yeah, at that. Right. But yeah, that's great. where all that money's going, guys. And if you want a stubby cooler or a sticker or that, that 100% of the money's going towards that. So uh, just thought I'd mention that as well to you. Yeah, no, it's yeah. worth mentioning, definitely. Yeah, it's a good cause, that's for sure. What about you, mate, Steve? Yeah, well, I'm a bit bit like Shad, actually. I started my YouTube channel about nine years ago. <laughs> put up about six videos and really didn't do anything for years and years and years. Buck's got all the answer for, sounds like, because yeah, I was right. watching Buck's videos. <laughs> I thought, like, this bloke's rough head gets on everything, and a lot of people are watching that. Oh, I can do that. But I'd had shot some footage previously, but I just didn't do anything with. I just had it floating around. But, oh, I'll give that a bit of a run. And um, really got into it well, probably February last year. And uh, I've got oh, a bit over a 1,000 subscribers now, so thanks, guys, for coming on board. And uh, my channel's much the same. It's just... Uh, for driving trips, I, I, mine's trip based a lot. I'd like to do show you where I've been and the touring side of things. With that said, if there's some hard four driving involved, we do that. You know, flog the crap out of the wife's 200 series because you know why hurt my truck when I can hurt hers. <laughs> um, it, yeah, I've done a few little DIY videos, some reviews, but yeah, I think we all do similar stuff, and that's why we got together. So uh, we can talk about the same kind of stuff. We're all into the same stuff. We just do it differently. We're in different areas. So, uh, yeah, Shane can bring you something I can't bring you because I'm not there. Same with Grant. Same with Rob. So have a look at our stuff. And 
yeah, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it anyway. Yeah, it's great. It's it's a, it's a good hobby, and uh, everything about four driving and off-road outdoor life is great, and we all love doing it. We're not trying to make money out of this stuff, guys, but um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun, and we we're glad you like it. So that's pretty well how my channel came about. I, I think one thing too, just add to that, also is. Um, I encourage anyone to get out, even if you've got a, a Toyota Corolla, yeah. you know, if you can fit a swag in it, just get out there and enjoy it. And I think that's these channels and, and other sort of four wheel drive channels like that are great for people that may not be able to get out and, and see the outdoors. At least they can see it via us filming along the way. Yeah. So yeah, it's helping people that may not be able to get out there themselves. Exactly. Right. Well, that's, that's one other thing too. You can bring a normal car here. You don't need a, where we are now. Yeah. Mm. You can just bring a normal two-wheel drive car here. Actually proof of that. Yeah. yeah. My uh, camera girl's wandering around doing B or C roll, and just behind us, she's shooting it now, is a Subaru all-wheel drive. Yeah, even... There's actually road cars here as well, but yeah. that's the closest into road car we got close to us, guys. So. <laughs> well, last year yeah. there was a, I put a photo on the um, Drifter fan page on Facebook over the back of you last year there was a Volkswagen Golf and you just had a tent and a chair and a little pit fire and you know that, that's the message to get out is just as long as you're getting out and enjoying it doesn't matter what car you drive we'd all love the the dream vehicle and an unlimited budget but if you get out that's the main thing exactly yeah. and we've all started at different times we've got different level of vehicles guys you know I mean, that's just how it is you know yeah. I've been playing with four-wheel drive for 27 years. Uh, I've built up to the 200 series and the range of it's on my channel. Rob's had a couple. Shad's into a very nice 76 you would have seen. Yeah, that was good. That's what a weapon that thing is. Yeah. <laughs> Grant's got the Vitara, but it doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you do it. Yeah, that's exactly right. As long as, as, long as you're out there. Lift like, wheels and have fun. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Hey guys, um, I, I had a, a competition going a while ago with a scan gauge. And, and I know a lot of people up there said it was rigged, but it wasn't rigged. <laughs> this guy won, the, won it, eh? That's bizarre. And, and, and when, we went the, when we did the draw, his name popped up and I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I was, I was wrapped. I, I, to be honest, I forgot I'd even answer that. I, well, I can't a, believe it because I really ago. wanted that scan. <laughs> so, well done, mate. mate Congratulations. I, I really appreciate that, eh? That was fantastic. Well, there's your scan there gauge. You so be able to check everything on the car now and yeah. make sure we're not overheating the poor little bugger. That's make sure you don't mug him a picture I will, yeah, before he gets a, to camp. I'll do a review, it'll probably take me six months to work out how to, how to work it. But yeah, pretty hard mate, plug it in. Yeah. That's right. No, that's great, so I really appreciate it. Yeah, that. no worries, you're stuff. welcome mate. So, we might try and do some other competition. We get some other sponsors on board and we'll try and do something else and give it away as well and hopefully this guy doesn't win it again. No, I'll bow out. <laughs> <laughs> don't, want, don't want a flag. Yeah, it's all good stuff. Yeah, That's all right, great. guys. Went to a pretty deserving Blake, I reckon. So. We had him in our car yesterday all day. And apart from the fact he doesn't stop talking, but he, uh, it was great fun. It was good to have him with us. So. Well, you've got to have a bit of a chat in the car. <laughs> you got no idea, guys. I'll try and leave some of the audio into my video. <laughs> you got no idea. It covers the swearing up. Yeah. I'm going to try and leave his daughter's the audio out of it though because fair dinkum you don't want to hear that yeah no. you don't want to hear that <laughs> no. you should hear the stuff she said oh yeah unbelievable yeah, let, let's just say that you know she has a slight crush on someone within the drifter family but we'll leave it there yeah we won't, oh, make, no, we no, won't no. mention anyone's name <laughs> so, uh, yeah. you might have long hair we'll edit that out yeah, there you are. No, it's all good fun. It's well, I don't right. know, there's a lot more to talk about, really, guys. Yeah. And, you know, we're not trying to bore everybody with our stories here. That's yeah, thing. that's right. The only thing I thought of, if, we, if you're happy, was just three uh, three quick things each of who won't who won't um, leave, what three things you won't leave home without when you go camping. Oh, it's oh, a tough one. Yeah. You know three? Three. Oh, I actually know three you know straight three off the top of the head. Fridge. Oh, I've got a fridge. Oh, right, yeah, so my three things, yeah, would be like your, your swag, like something good to sleep in. Um, I've got to have Ryan with me, someone to cook and clean. Oh, cool, yeah. Drive. Yeah, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and drive. Yeah. The video is Ryan doing everything, yeah. What do you do? <laughs> yeah. No, not much. I don't do much. <laughs> His directions. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, third would be, yeah, like maybe um, like shelter, whether it's an awning or something, if the weather does turn bad, I suppose. Yeah, and then you're pretty well set, I think. Yeah, yeah I'd say my three would be a, definitely a fridge. Um, can't have chicken and stuff. We used yeah. to do the ice box and it, it lasted for a few days, but it's just not practical. So definitely a fridge. 
Um, good cooking ware like the camp oven because you can literally cook every meal. You can do, you know, entree, main, dessert, the whole lot. Uh, so definitely a good camp oven uh, the fire facility. And probably came up further up the list now would definitely be my wife's tent because I I did forget that one day and left it in the garage and we got down to Burrow campsite and she ended up having to sleep in the car two nights and a, a, a Vitara even with the seats folded down is not too big so <laughs> and how long did you uh, sleep in the doghouse after that but yeah it took a couple of weeks of cooking dinner at home but yeah definitely the, the tent for the wife <laughs> oh dear what about you Steve yeah, well, pretty well the same as everybody. I think the fridge is just about a given these days. It doesn't matter if you drink beer or not drink beer. You still want to keep your drinks cold, your food cold, you know, so nothing goes off. The fridge is definitely the must for me. Uh, the recovery gear is fairly important. Mm. You know, like I've both my trucks are winches, you know, because I do a lot of solo travelling. So, you know, I've got no friends basically, guys. So, <laughs> you know, so I really need the recovery gear to get out of trouble. And the most important one, weirdly enough, and I'm not sucking up, is the wife. Yeah. It's nice to have good company. company. And fortunately for me, my wife loves doing all this stuff. She's not so fussed on working the cameras, guys, but she does it under sufferance. But she loves coming away, doing the camping, and just having a good time, and that's what it's all about, you know? Right. And it makes makes our marriage a lot easier. You know, we just get on, it's really good. So, yeah. I know that sounds a bit sort of, sort of, sort of weird if you want to put it that way but yeah I really like taking the wife with me it's not the same when she doesn't come so yeah, I can second that yeah yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty well pretty well it yeah apart from that I sort of care big measures well, we've got a camper in the background and this week we're going to swag and rather we can so depends what I'm doing I think you're lucky too if, you, if your wife does enjoy it too like my wife loves camping as well and the girls the two daughters love camping and that, that makes it so oh, much yeah, easier it does yeah. it makes it Way better. Yeah, it's great. It is easier when it's a family affair, like you know, and when everyone's involved. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I haven't got a Ryan to do all my cooking for me, so <laughs> yeah. I have to. I have to do you hire something. him out, mate? Yeah, yeah. I can, yeah. We can organise something for sure. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's get up to Brizzy. <laughs> yeah. That's all good. All right, then, guys. What have we got. That's about cool. it. Yeah, I think it's bad, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think it covers it. Yeah. We don't want to bore you all with too much of this stuff. This footage is going to be pretty well on all our channels. Yeah. So you're going to see one form or another. Depends on how we edit it all. But, you know. but he, thanks for being with us, guys, and subscribe to everybody's yeah, channels. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks I really appreciate it. it. Yeah, it's thank really you. good. Good to see. And um, yeah. cheers, and thanks for putting up with this video. Catch you later. <laughs> cheers, guys. See ya. The B team. <laughs> <laughs> this is a behind the scenes of us setting up do a little four-way chat, which I don't think any of us have ever done before. No. No. <laughs> Definitely not. People, people in the shade. Here we go. We've got Rob, of course. Shade, of course. Morning. That's Grant. Morning. That's Chloe, the number one camera Hello. girl. You don't see her on camera very often. Morning. This Kaz, my number one camera girl. And this is how we're laying all this out. Camera gear we here. This is what we do for you, the viewer. We don't even know if you're interested in this, but we're doing it anyway. Uh, that's how it lays out. 